Hello, my name is Intuas, welcome back to Skyrim. In the last episode, we dwelled deep into the... What is this called? That. <laughs> uh, searching for the Staff of Magus. Come on! I love when we are so fast with this axe. Ah! Hmm. Do we go there or do we go down? Relatively easy. And we are carrying too much. Seriously. Right, um. Drop. Uh, yeah. How do we drop this? Uh. There we go. And I know we just got a level, but eh, I don't want to take a new perks. Freaking hell! That scared me! For a second there, I thought we were dead. For a second there, I thought we were dead. Seriously. Hmm. If Ludia was here. Paul is here. Right. Hello, friend. <laughs> I've been poisoned. Oh no. Actually, does it have a some sort of a time? Hmm. Huh. I think it might have already burned off or something. Hello, friend. <sighs> that might be scary looking. Some crazy dude just coming at you, running full speed and just <laughs> hitting you with axe. That seriously sounds like spiders behind me. Missed me. Wait. Does this continue? Oh, it does. Oh, 
I have a very bad feeling about this. At least two more. Oh. Yeah, um, drinks. <laughs> um. That works. Are they blind? That nearly looks like he, uh, it's blind or something. Yeah, I think we use that push or draw in the wrong place there. <laughs> <laughs> like a scene in the horror movie or something. You think you see just one giant spider, you take out your flashlight and it's the whole damn game. Damn, these cities are huge. to my power. Imagine this city is full of life. I think these were the... Uh, the... Demer? Demer cities, I think. How many times can you miss them? There we go. And moving on. Yeah, this must be the place that we need to go. Let's try to cover them into one place. And I just noticed that we don't have any more door marks, so the stuff is over here. Requires a key. So one of them must be carrying a key. Hmm. It must be the... Uh, the mage. And it wasn't. Hmm. Well then. That's a big hole. Where do we find a key?
Uh, so basically we need to check out the other rooms and I think we start with that one after we check this. Yeah. And why this one? Well, the door's closed. There we go, four left. Really? Ten gold and a damp ocean. <laughs> you are trolling me hard, game. Well, this would have been the obvious one. Do I hear uh, yeah, yeah, the, one of those? Ooh, ah, hey! Other uh, things. Me a key, please. There we go. Right now, let's head back. And let's save before the door. Why? Because I have bad feeling that there's going to be a fight here. How did you get here without a key? G Gavros, is that you? Yeah, sure. I'd almost given up hope. Let me get the door. What the? What are you doing here? Hmm. What have you done with Gavros? It was the Falmer, wasn't it? Curse them! They ruined everything. If Gavros is gone, there is no hope. He was supposed to return with the crystal. Without that, all our efforts are wasted. And you, if you're here for treasure or wisdom or anything, I'm afraid you've wasted your time. Great. It didn't work the first time. I tried to tell Gavros, but he wouldn't listen. No, it won't be too cold, he said. Well, I was right, wasn't I? Focus completely wrong by the time we got here. The cold had warped it. Gavros had to cart it all the way back to Cyrodiil. Left the rest of us here to fend off the damnable Falmer. Hmm. I don't know what sort of help you expect from me, but if you can actually find the crystal, I'd certainly be grateful. Right. Uh -huh. So... The mage was using the crystal, I think. I should have picked that up when I was looking at it. Didn't game to mine.
Yes, with Crystal. Found the crystal. I've no wish to. <laughs> so you did. I was almost beginning to think Gavros had gone and gotten himself killed just to spite me. Well, well, he did. With the former skulking around, I can't very well do this on my own. I guess you'll have to come with me. I'll explain on the way. No matter what Gavros said, this was my idea first. The Council is going to know that when I get back. I was the one who thought of using this... this oculory. I don't know what the dwarves called it. Something unpronounceable, I'm sure. From all our research, it seems they were intent on discerning the nature of the Divine. This machinery, all of it, was designed to collect starlight. And then, I'm not sure, split it somehow? It was my idea to replace one of the key elements with our focusing crystal. Months of enchantments went into it. Let's just hope they got it right this time. Here it is. Magnificent, isn't it? Took an incredible amount of work to get it running again. Now I'm hoping it'll all be worth it. Place the crystal in the central apparatus, and we can start the process for focusing it. Right, so... Oh, over there. Right. <laughs> of course. Again. And again. I have no idea what we are trying to do here. I've been just rotating this without anything. And none of them even help me. Right, do you say anything? Yes. Now the crystal needs to be focused. It was created so far away. We knew that some adjustments would have to be made. Heating and cooling the crystal will cause it to expand or contract, which will change how the light passes through it. You'll need to use spells to do that. Being from the college, I assume you know them already. Yeah. There should be a few basic tomes around here somewhere in case your training is even more substandard than I've heard. Uh huh. <sighs> if only I uh, talked to him earlier. Let's try the flames. Right, um... Do we have any eye spells? Um... Frostbite, let's try that one. Right. That one is the lowest. Right, here we go. So the lowest is over there. Of course it's on the wrong side. So is that one.
There we go. Only two go. That should be enough. Are you here to make sure your plan worked? That our efforts have been for nothing? Well, explain yourself. Uh, you better calm down. Did something go wrong? I don't know what you are talking about. Go wrong? Go wrong? Everything is wrong. Everything. Whatever you have at that college has completely interfered with our work here. How did you do it? Uh... Uh, I truly have no idea what you are talking about. Either you're lying to me, or you have something at your college, don't you? Something immensely powerful, beyond anything I've anticipated. What is it? Um... Well, now, this I hadn't considered. If that's taken into account, these results make more sense. Hmm. You're looking for something, yes? The Staff of Magnus. Well, even if you are trying to ruin my work, there's still something to be learned here. I can't explain the details. That would be giving away many secrets the Synod have learned over the years. Also, I doubt you'd be able to comprehend the details. Have you seen the orrery in the Imperial City? It was the inspiration for this idea. Actually, I have. Instead of projecting the sky, we project all of Tamriel, and then harness the latent energies to overlay the positions of... What's important is that all of this work was designed to reveal to us sources of great magical power. Purely to help safeguard the Empire, of course. Right. And yet, in the end, only two locations have been revealed to us. One is your college. The other, well, that can only be Labyrinthian. So, mage from Winterhold. Despite your intentions, I've beaten your little game. Even if all you've said here is lies, I know you have something in Winterhold the Synod Council will be very interested in. So fine, trudge off to Labyrinthian in search of your staff. I shall return to Cyrodiil and deliver my full report to the Council. This is not over, I assure you. Right. Well, yes. Probably. I mean, yes, certainly it is. But that doesn't matter now, because I know you're hoarding something even more important at your college. The council will be informed of this. They will find out what you're up to. Right. I think we're done here. Actually, I was thinking the same thing. And also, I think this is a uh, great place to stop the episode and next time let's continue from here and as always thanks for watching leave a like leave a comment and i'll see you next time bye bye